on the show before, I used to have asthma, allergies, a lot of skin problems, a lot of sinus issues, a lot of things going on, frequent uh, colds and coughs and, and just, it seemed like I was sick almost all the time. And so I had to figure out why that was happening and what I could do about it because I just got so sick and tired of it. Uh, heck, I was ready to drink battery acid and donkey manure if someone credible told me it would help me. So fortunately, I never had to do that. But uh, you know, you get very desperate, and oftentimes, that's where you have to be before you can make an improvement. I had to get desperate before I could actually be willing to make the changes I needed to make in my lifestyle. And one of them was get completely away from toxic chemicals. Now, most of us think, uh, you know, what toxic chemicals? What around me is toxic? I don't keep arsenic in my kitchen cabinet. Uh, you know, this isn't arsenic and old lace, which, by the way, is a great movie if you've never seen it. Cary Grant and uh, uh, Peter Lorre. And, you know, I don't keep jars of poison around. What, what does this have to do with me? And yet, uh, most people actually do keep jars of poison around in the form of cleaning chemicals and cosmetics. Uh, some cosmetics contain chemicals that are known to be toxic, and the FDA actually lets them put them in there. Uh, just because they're in tiny amounts doesn't mean they're safe, like uh, they want you to think. Uh, yeah, she says everything is in the chat room. Yeah, it pretty much. Uh, if it's synthetic, it's toxic, period. Uh, if it's a chemical that has not existed on this planet before the last 100, 150 years or so, and they're coming out with hundreds more uh, every few years. So there are chemicals that exist today that didn't even exist three weeks ago anywhere, as far as we know, in the whole universe. So these are synthetics, and the reason they're toxic is because they are 100% foreign to the human body and to the entire ecosystem and to everything that was put here to uh, help us to function in a healthy way. So uh, they are foreign. It's, it's like throwing sand in your watch. It's, sand isn't necessarily bad in its own context, but when you put it inside your pocket watch, suddenly the watch stops working. So these chemicals, there may be contexts where they would be appropriate, but if they ever get inside your body at all in any amount, they will poison you. They will be like sand in your watch and they will stop your body from doing what it wants to do. Uh, prescription drugs are the same way. In fact, they are one of the most virulent toxins uh, known to man, uh, by and large, uh, in the big picture. Because, <laughs> because uh, the prescription drugs are actually the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. You may not have known that, but it was reported in the Journal of the American Medical Association. And people are dying from drug side effects more than almost any other cause of death except heart disease, stroke, and cancer. And it depends on whose statistics you read. Uh, medical side effects and complications uh, are anywhere from the third to the first leading cause of death. So uh, what is supposed to be helping us is killing us, and I think it's time for a change. So there's my soapbox for the day. Thank you for bearing with me through that little speech. Uh, but bottom line, anything synthetic is a poison, and some of them are, are very mild poisons. You would have to eat a lot over a long time to really do any serious damage. Some of them uh, are such that uh, after being exposed to them for anywhere from a year to 10 or 15 years you end up with a life-threatening illness like a lot of pesticides and insecticides and uh, uh, synthetic fertilizers and chemicals like we're going to be talking about here today and some of them of course